Hey everybody. So many of us, we, we, okay, I'm gonna restart. We all wanna be happy, okay? So this video is about my plan, my intention, my clear vision for myself and what everybody wants in the world, more or less everybody. So I want one to be as high a vibration and happy as possible. That's what I want for myself. Okay, number two, I want to be as happy and high vibrational when I meet and spend time with other people. So I don't want them to see me all tired, run down, sick, irritable, moody or low vibrational. I want to, to meet them when I'm in a very balanced, healthy, happy, harmonious state where I have reserve energy or at least or even like energy to use and to burn and to spend also to combust. I want to I wanna be in a mode to be able to either fully relax and enjoy myself or else to be creative and to be exp expulsion, explosive, kinetic energy outwards or else just simply inwards and enjoy myself and be calm, peaceful and relaxed. So at the end of the day, everyone, isn't this an obvious thing that we all want? To feel well, to be happy and peaceful and balanced, healthy, joyful, high vibrational, harmonious, creative, feeling peace, ease and flexibility within ourselves. So how am I going to do this? I have many practices that I do. So. As I said earlier, one is to make sure I don't overdo things like exercising right now. I don't want to like burn myself out, burn myself out. I don't want to like go too fast, which is usually my error in life to be too intense or too fast, be it in relationships or exercise, anything. Too intense, burn myself out or else whatever, burn. You can burn a relationship out by being too intense too or spending too much time with someone too much. Life is all about balance, everybody. So we have to look after ourselves, practice self-care and self-love. Self-care is a form of self-love. So you care for yourself, you look after yourself. And that involves doing practices. So some of my favorite practices that I feel are very healthy, that bring me health and happiness and joy of spirit, body, mind and heart, and just emotional well-being, you know? So some of them is, I had an essential oil bath this morning. It's beautiful, very relaxing. I added lavender today. But other days I add sunshine morning blend, which I don't know, we just got that in Canada. It's just like some citrus and a bit of rosemary and stuff. It's very nice. It's invigorating. But well, not very invigorating, just a little bit enlivening and fresh. Lovely smell. Lavender is relaxing and um, I try and go to bed before maybe half ten or even less, ten o'clock if possible. Even less is good, you know, even better. I sleep with my windows open and I have the curtains open too for maximum fresh air because air is very important. Um, I, I, I wear an eye mask so it's not too bright in the morning. What else do I do? I like to eat a raw food diet or at least a fruit, a fruitarian or fruit-based diet as much as possible. And of course, vegan as much as possible or all as much as possible, let's put it that way. I'm not all, I'm not perfect in anything, but I try to live as high vibrational and heart-centered life and considerate and loving and thoughtful and caring towards everyone in my life, everybody and everything. I try to be as eco-friendly, everything as possible, as much as possible, you know. I just saw a V sign, like vegetarian, vegan. <laughs> Weird, just a big V. <laughs> but um, what else do I do? Um, exercising in balance, that you enjoy and it's fun. So never force yourself to do exercise you don't enjoy, really. Have fun and play. Get fit by having fun and being extremely happy. So do as many happy, high vibrational activities as much as possible. And if that means going out for socializing, having cook, like even though my diet is fruitarian, at least that's what I aim and for and juicing as well, like juicitarian to a degree also, mixed in. And I do generally two enemas a day with two water in and out loads as well. Um, 
I, I don't mind drinking, like let's say a vegan hot chocolate, a vegan chai latte, or an extremely weak vegan coffee, rarely, because it's still too strong, because I'm sensitive to like every substance. So getting out in fresh air, I'd recommend exercising, everyone to exercise. If you don't use it, you lose it. Um, other health practices are like, I've, 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 I talk to my friends and family. Hey there. Yes. So like I try and like keep in touch and to be emotionally tuned in and to connect with my loved ones and friends. I try to laugh and joke and be playful every day. I try work on healing, anything that's there, uh, allow myself to express emotions. Thinking positively is the most important thing. And that's not to deny or suppress or to hide anything. It's just to put a positive spin on things and to find and see and focus on the positives in any situation. Because there's always something that's good or potentially good going to happen as well. So that's the most important thing and I recommend Abraham or else maybe my videos. I want to be pure of spirit and heart. I want to be joyful and happy, so happy. So happy that you're like irresistibly attractive to people on a similar wavelength who recognize and see and feel your happiness and high vibration and joy. But I just want to be high vibrational myself because when we tune into who we are, our true spirit, ourselves, who we truly are, so that's ourself. Beyond all the conditioning, the brainwashing, the programming, the hurts, the fears, the limiting beliefs about ourselves and life and other people and things. Beyond everything is us. We are like angelic. We are pure spirited, extremely kind, loving, wise, balanced beings, spiritual beings, consciousness beneath, beyond the body, beyond even this third dimension that we're in of time, space. So getting out in nature is one of my practices, extremely healing everyone. I think nature is like so important. I'd almost call it vital for high vibration. It's deeply nourishing. I've just walked there from Bright to Greystones, County Wicklow, Ireland. The ocean is beautiful. Nature is gorgeous. I love Gaia and nature is so my friend. I'm so thankful for everything. I love life. I feel enormously blessed. Ah, oh, it's so crazy, everyone, honestly. So I'd highly recommend cleaning your colon, taking herbs, doing an enema a day. Do it after you <laughs> Do it after your bowel movements. You're not trying to replace bowel movements, you're just trying to clean your colon. Two rinses at least. Um, eat more raw foods and salad. If you're eating cooked foods, or any food, try not to overeat, that's extremely important. In, in, in essential part of having a high vibration is not to waste energy by eating, let's say, food devoid of enzymes, which typically cooked food is. So if you're eating cooked food, I highly recommend only eating a little bit, or less than a medium amount. And if you want, sup, eat, eat a part of raw food like salad, like tomatoes, or some kind of like, you know, like sprouts um, or lettuce or greens or something or cooked vegetables too, nothing too heavy, you know, like cooked vegetable like carrot or spinach or something something that isn't thick, heavy and starchy so make the meal as light as possible so if that's why my objective is fruitarianism and juicitarian because it's so, it saves you a huge amount of energy but I'm not like, you know crazy about. I'm not like stuck up or anal about this, you know, you can't be. That's a low vibration to be struggling, stressing, striving and judging anyone or yourself. No, no. I'll come and get you if you're going to be doing all this, sh <laughs> this shit. Often when I come here, I touch the ocean and I'll bring you with me because I'm going to do it this time too. Come down the steps. So for me, an essential part of my life is living for my inner child and my higher heart. So you live with integrity, love and honor, and kindness and caring, consideration and thoughtfulness. 
I'm often, I'm regularly giving presents of essential oil to people between four, between five and eight euros per bottle of presents. Another part is living from your free, untainted inner self, your inner child. And that's playing, climbing trees, joking, having fun, complimenting people if you're more extroverted or in the mood. Keeping your energy high and playing like a child, being like a child. Uh. <laughs> Yay! This is, like a new, this is like a child. You know, you interact with your surroundings, everyone. That's what children do. That's what being a child is all about. Interacting with your surroundings and playing and having fun. Touching the dog, climbing the tree, kicking the stone, saying hi, looking at someone, smiling, being alive instead of being lost in your thoughts about the past and the future. You know, regret and sadness over the past or fear and worry about the future. So living from your higher understanding means you solve your issues little by little. It's okay to think just for purpose. So he's being a child walking on the wall. I've actually wanted to do that before. I'm going to do that next time. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so yeah, you get the drift. So how else? Yeah. So we all need to meet our needs, socializing, rest. Another thing I'd recommend is having fun and enjoying your life. Like, be gentle and, and kind to yourself. Like, if you feel like treating yourself to a sandwich, even if it's not your ordinary diet, go ahead. Don't be too strict on yourself. Don't have too many, like, harsh rules on yourself. Don't be sad and serious. Bye. I agree. <laughs> you agree, do they? Yep. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Bye. You can be on YouTube, thanks. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> so, um, so be loose, a little bit loose, in balance and flexible. Um, make sure you're happy every day as much as possible. Be gentle on yourself and other people. And be complimentary to yourself and other people. Offer praise, love or kindness and support yourself in your thoughts in your self-talk and in language to others be generous in gifts and kindness to others and yourself so treat yourself and treat others don't be stingy you know it's okay to be stingy like I've been stingy and tight and worried about money in the past too and you could say I still am to a degree yeah I am but just working gently at everything slowly, gradually. That's the way you improve your life and slowly change your habits. So have a vision. Know what you want. Get clear. Remind yourself regularly. So, uh, so he agrees. So make sure you laugh as much as possible. Like, kind of. like Try to laugh every day. Have fun. Play. And look at inspiring quotes, videos, and words on, on your social media, such as Facebook, or YouTube, or Instagram, or whatever you use. Tele if it's television, if it's some cool program that it makes you happy. I watched Star Trek The Next Generation lately a little bit, and I loved it. It was fun. Jean-Luc Picard, Data, Worf. So everyone... I'll let you go. I hope this video has been of help. And I'd also recommend seeing a healer. I'm going to see a healer this Friday. A shamanic healer, it could be any healer. I've gone to like loads of healers in the past and I always just do my own self positive, gradual shifting. So, it's always nice to be as happy and joyful as possible. And that's what vibration is. It's like high vibration means happy free, light-hearted, fun, loving, um, but not a self-imposed loving idea, like an expectation you have to live up to, nothing like that, you're not trying to be Mother Teresa, uh, you know, you're not trying to be anybody, you just want to be yourself, through 
raising your vibration through letting go of the densities, the blocks and the heavier vibrations that are obstacles to you, the shining light beneath it all. It's like up there, you're the sun and there's clouds. As you slowly let go of the clouds, the sun shines more. So this is all about shining your light, having access to your divinity or light. And then naturally you'd be more loving and kind and empowered and peaceful. So I've seen this in myself extensively this year especially. You know, I have the capacity, as I said to my mum last night, I have the capacity to love more, so much more. I feel so much more loving and able to love. It's just like such the best feeling in the world. I actually like care more for me and for people. I'm more fatherly. I care for, I look I care for our mothers, I care for fathers, I care for children, I care for people, I care for everyone, anyone more with such a much more better capacity because I've unblocked and let go of some of these energies and things within me that were in the way. I also have far more ability to be happy and joyful because I'm one, I'm wiser from what I've learned and experienced. So nothing is a mistake. There's no errors in life. You learn from everything. You can learn from everything, should I say. Everything does happen for a reason and perfectly. There's no accidents or mistakes in this spiritual universe. So if you're on the conscious path and you're watching this video now, of course, this is you. So you just need to learn from everything and gradually make slow improvements. It's so easy, it's so simple, everybody. So gentle, gently does it. Keep thinking positively and putting a positive spin on everything. It's a truthful acknowledgement and recognition, like gratitude. Like, okay, let's say it's raining, okay? It started, actually is raining now. <coughs> so the positive version will be saying, it could be heavier, it could be worse. Look at these beautiful leaves. Like, I'm glad I have a healthy body. Like, that's like what I mean by putting this positive spin. If someone's being challenging, okay, we'll have, try and tune into your higher heart, love and compassion and understanding, and why they might be that way. Why, what hurt or pain are they going through? So have compassion. You can tune into this with an intention and a wish, you know? So, one step at a time. So gratitude and appreciation are a really high vibration. So if we can tune into gratitude and appreciation for anything in our life, anything in the past, anything in the future coming, honestly. I was even feeling gratitude and saying a prayer on the walk before this video. And I was just thanking for my partner, my soulmate to come, you know, they're living their life. And I just send the love and appreciation, basically feeling appreciation, gratitude, love. Because that's they're out there in the universe, so to speak. Could be more than one, I don't really know. But I'm just grateful. It's a body, mind, spirit affair, everyone. It's hard to be grateful when you're blocking yourself with toxic, irritant substances that are dense and heavy and robbing your energy. Similarly, if you're thinking these heavy, dense thoughts of, you know, against people over a cons consecutive, continuous, longer period of time, this is a, you're just clouding yourself up and you're the sun, but you're making loads of clouds, blockages, you know? So, um... So, yeah, I have the capacity for far more humour. So, don't, everything happens for a reason, so just keep learning is what I wanted to say. I just be grateful for your past experiences. Be grateful for the future, be grateful for the present. Be grateful for the things you have in your life and appreciate. And I'd recommend saying prayer to source or the universe or the spirit, the spirit. And thank your guides and angels and any archangels, anything like that. Whew. Okay, everyone, so um, I hope this video has been helpful and keep keep rocking it, keep doing your thing. Like, you kick ass. You're unique and you're beautiful and we're all special and beautiful and unique. So don't worry about anything. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything was okay and everything is okay. It's just, if we think it isn't and we keep thinking in a certain way, we will create upset in ourselves. So keep thinking 
very carefully and positively and go out there and enjoy your day and make a good day for yourself. Be happy. Choose happiness. Choose very careful thoughts and thinking and focusing. It's the most important thing. That's where it all starts, everybody. Thoughts, thinking, focusing, attitude, perception. Get them right and everything's going to follow from there. Everything, everything, everything. Make sure if you have a challenge with a person or if you're upset with somebody, you usually get upset with someone when your vibration is lower, when you're tired, sick, depleted, overextended, imbalanced, or thinking wrongly. So when you do that, things irritate you and upset you. You're, you're, you're flustered and frustrated and you're intolerant with people and events. I've noticed this extremely extensively myself. So before you send that email, before you say those words, before you make that relationship or life decision, make sure you get yourself in balance, energy back again, and in higher vibration. So when you get the higher vibration, then you're gonna tap into the, the, the your, your connection to who, your higher self, your inner being, your who you truly are, all those words to describe the same thing. And that's when you can make really cool and brilliant and empowered responses to your life and what you should do next, where you should go, what you should decide and for how you should text message or email or reply back personal message to someone who in your thoughts when you're lower vibrational, they're upsetting you, yeah? You blame them. Well, it's, it's you and your vibration where you are. When you raise your frequency, that's when you're gonna know. <laughs> you're either gonna not need to reply to them, you're gonna get on with your own life. The higher your vibration, the more you get on with your own life and you're not upset or bothered by other people. They're doing their thing, you let them do their thing and you do your thing and you're being joyful and happy and having a good time and creating good fun and stuff, good, good, healthy, positive stuff for yourself or everybody. So it's really funny. So when you raise your vibration, if you do feel there's something you gotta do or say, a lot of the time you won't have to, but if you feel you, you want to still, it's gonna be from a way more upbeat or positive or happy or loving or compassionate place because you've tuned in to the sun or to your true self and you, you're, you're coming from a higher vibrational standpoint. And that's when it just all seems easy and clear and fun and you connected with people, it feels connective. It feels like lighthearted. You're paying compliments, you're saying thanks, you're, you're like 